What's up, world? Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Check this out this morning. Just every morning when I wake up and I come down by the water. I think I've seen the best view and every morning it just gets better. Look at that line there. Red and morning sailors take warning, as they say. So I guess there's some weather coming in. Looks like we got some cloudage today. What is like glass? Look at the reflections there. Isn't that awesome? Super, super beautiful morning. Chilly this morning. I don't know, 45 degrees or something like that? 45 degrees. Winter's coming. This uh, November's here. Two months left of the year. And we're still riding. 155 days in on the journey of 365 today. And uh, we're down here, Woodmere Docks. Watching the sunrise. It's a beautiful thing. All right, so message of the day. Message of the day. Today, uh, I was flipping on little Joel in the morning. And uh, he was talking about uh, basically being comfortable with the mission God gave you. And that we need to run our own race. And so, a lot of times, we discourage ourselves by looking at what our friends are doing, what our colleagues are doing. Um, in our apex world, uh, a lot of people are absolutely killing it. And it can be discouraging because we compare ourselves to them and we feel like we're not getting to where we need to be. But we each have our own purpose. We each have our own mission. And we need to do our own mission the best we can every day. So think of it like this. You got a monster truck and you got a NASCAR. Which one are you going to crush cars with? Are you going to try and take a NASCAR and crush cars? Or are you going to take a monster truck and crush cars? Uh, if you got to run a race, are you going to take the monster truck out on the track and try and do 200 miles an hour? Or are you going to take the NASCAR on the track and do 200 miles an hour? Each one of us has a purpose. Each one of us is purpose built. And each one of us needs to run our own race. Um, talk about football. Who's more important? The lineman or the quarterback without the lineman the quarterback gets tackled and can't do his job without the quarterback the lineman just blocks people and the ball doesn't move both equally important some take the spotlight quarterback always seems to take the spotlight and that's who when a game gets won that's who takes the spotlight for winning the game but without that center without that guard without that tackle quarterback's getting smushed and uh, he, ain't get, he ain't winning at his game. Um, talk about uh, who's more important at church, the pastor or the guy that unlocks the door? Because if he didn't unlock the door, no one could come in and listen to the pastor. So you got to think about that. What is your role? What is your role? What were you put here to do? What is your purpose? And stop comparing yourself to everybody else. Run your own race. Run your own race to the fullest. Um, I know there's a struggle out there a lot with, uh, with housewives, my wife included, who feels that she doesn't have value and doesn't have worth because she doesn't produce income. She raises six kids and homeschools them. The value that she puts out in our family and in the world is immense. So that is her role currently, is to be the mother of six children, to be, um, the person that's educating six children and giving them a leg up on the world. That value is incredible. But she compares herself to other people um, with careers, other people that may be uh, attorneys or doctors or lawyers that make big incomes. And they're absentee moms because they have to send their kids to daycare and whatnot because, uh, you know, they have a career. In this case, she doesn't have to work. She gets to be home and educate them every day and raise the six kids. The value is immense. So in her world, in her purpose, she is top of her game. In someone else's world where they may have a career, they're top of their game. You can't compare yourself to that other person. Um, in my world, I sell real estate, a contractor. Um, there's guys you see on TV, million dollar listing people, Ryan Surrant, got pictures with him, he's a cool guy. Um, 
I can't compare myself to him. He's in a different world. He's selling multi, multi million dollar buildings. I'm selling, you know, half to three quarter million dollar houses. We're not in the same game. We're not in the same game. I need to be the best I can be in my game. He's the best he can be in his game. Now, can I gradually move up to a different level? Yes, that's always potential. But I need to be the best I can where I am now. So there's your message of the day. Know your purpose. If you're a monster truck, don't try and go run on a NASCAR track. If you're a NASCAR, don't try and crush cars. Um, know your purpose. Know why God put you here. And do that to the best of your ability. Because uh, we all have our purpose. We all have our purpose here in the world. And don't get discouraged by comparing yourself to other people. Don't get discouraged by feeling like you're inadequate because someone else is doing something different than you. You perceive that as better. But it's not necessarily better. It's just different. Um, so run your own race. And there's your message of the day. All right, let's jump on prayers. This background here is super pretty today. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to understand our purpose, help us to recognize our purpose, and help us to be the best we can be in fulfilling our purpose here in the world. Um, help us to not get discouraged, and help us to not like keep up with the Joneses, and help us to just do the best we can every day with what we have, and uh, until you're ready to advance us to the next to the next mission. Um, that said, amen. All right. Eva, good morning. How are you? Eva, check this out. Check that out, Eva. Awesomeness. Woodmere docks. Look at that sky. Look at the reflection in the water. Absolutely beautiful. So, all right, message of the day. Run your own race. Run your own race. Don't be discouraged by chasing what other people are doing. Don't compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to the person you were yesterday. Are you better than who you were yesterday? 1% better every day. Put your head on a pillow every day knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Inspire yourself to be better while you inspire those around you. All right, so there's your message of the day. A little bit more of the sunrise. Absolutely beautiful. God is good. God is good. All right, tomorrow we blast off to Texas to uh, Apex Live, going down to Dallas, jumping on a plane tomorrow morning, ride's going to have to be early tomorrow morning, I think I got a 9 o'clock flight out of JFK, so I'm going to have to do like a 5 o'clock ride tomorrow, get this ride done, figure I did a message, maybe I'll do a message from the airport, and then uh, Thursday I'll probably be riding in uh, Mark the Fitness Ninja's gym, and I guess also on Friday, Friday he might do a workout up at the hotel, he usually does that, and I'm there Saturday. Uh, come home from Texas Saturday, and uh, that's it for Texas for this year. Um, now we start with the Thanksgiving holiday madness and all that good stuff. Closing out the year. Two months left to get things done. So that's it. Let's go. Run your own race. God bless everyone.